it says in the Bible that when the Lord returns, it will be like the days of Noah. And uh, this right here generation is a Sodom and Gomorrah generation. When he comes back, oh my, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. If you will, back in Jesus' day, in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, he warned Lot, Abraham's nephew. He said, if there's 40 righteous, I will spare this. And then Abraham pleaded with God. He said, if there's 30, and it got all the way down to 10, righteous, I will save. Well, amen. Well, God told Abraham, I'll save Lot and his family. And Lot and the angels came to Lot. Uh, and uh, they was in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. And these people were twisted and demented, uh, immoral, if you will, in their thinking. Uh, and uh, what happened was, he said, I'm going to destroy this city for their wickedness. Uh, and the uh, Lot, he grabbed his wife and daughters and they left Sodom and Gomorrah. But Lot's wife, on the way out of Sodom and Gomorrah, if you will, she looked back and she was disobedient to God and he turned her into a pillar of salt. Okay, you cannot keep looking back. If God brung you up out of Sodom and Gomorrah, he brung you out of a sinful, uh, if you will, lifestyle of immorality. And you used to live uh, uh, in perversion. If God delivered you, amen, I, I strongly suggest that you don't look back at Sodom and Gomorrah in disobedience to God. Because he told them, do not look back. And uh, it's, a, it's a horrible, terrifying uh, experience uh, back then, if you will. I'm sure uh, Lot loved his wife. She was disobedient. She looked back at Sodom and Gomorrah, where all the wickedness, immorality, homosexuality, and all kinds of sins they were doing in this place and it angered God where he destroyed it with fire and brimstone if you will uh, I'm telling you man of God uh, woman of God if, if your husband uh, or wife is not living right for God and they look back I'm telling you you don't have time to look back you have to keep strong uh, and keep your eyes upon the Lord. Uh, I believe what happened to Lot's wife, uh, she didn't have Sodom and Gomorrah out of her heart. She still had that wickedness and uh, immorality they was living in. And God is a merciful God. Um, he was just gonna spare Abraham, but Abraham pleaded, save my nephew Lot. And I'm pleading with you today, um, if you will, come to repentance to the Lord. And uh, people wonder why so much is going on in our society. There is immorality, sexual sins, uh, if you will, all kinds of sorts of things that people are living in. And it says in the Bible, uh, I if uh, they repent and humble themselves, then I will hear from heaven and heal their land and forgive their backslidings. But I'm telling you, it's not the time and day nor hour to be a Lot's wife. We can't look back at Gomorrah where all the filthy and pollution and perversion, uh, uh, if you will, if you're sprung out of it, if you've been redeemed, if you've been baptized in Jesus, they filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, it's a precious gift. Uh, this is what saves us. Hallelujah. But don't be a lot's wife. If God bring you out, 
sister don't look back to that 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 stuff on the internet don't cheat on your husband anymore this goes for men too this all messages for all let's learn a lesson from the days of Sodom and Gomorrah because God it does say when he comes back it'll be like the days of Noah and the days of Noah they laughed the man to scorn the man of God Noah he took him 120 years to build this boat if you will and to prepare a place for him and the eight that were in the boat and uh, God spared eight back then um, and they said it's going to be like that when the Lord comes back. But uh, we're living in a past, fast-paced generation. They have made things so accessible. People have become lazy in their walk with the Lord. I'm talking to you. I'm preaching to you. Amen.